Mm. Muy interesante. enough. Kind of cool. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Oh, all right. Well, that's not terrible. Here. Hey, we got that on tab. I guess that's some decent money. Listen, it wasn't your greatest pull, Chief, but um, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Wow. 
100 and 196 whole maca. Shit. Five star dinner on me. Three hundred maca, nice. Now I won't be poor. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I wiped this area pretty much as clean as I possibly could. So. I guess our next uh, next goal is back to Tokyo. Hmm. At least I think. We'll find out. Yeah. Good work, everyone. Let's go report in. Yeah. Yeah. Have a second? That's well gonna be done, an awkward conversation. Zimano. Your efforts have not been in vain. Yeah, there's been a few things in vain, though. But Isonokami. Her death is indeed tragic, and certainly a setback for Bethel. Humanity will mourn the loss of their saint. And then there's Itsukishima. Ah, yes, the student whom Lamu targeted. Another regrettable tragedy. That reminds me. Right at the bitter end, Lamu mentioned something about recreating the world. Not only that, but he wanted to become a Nahobino. Do you have any idea what that means? Yes, well... Huh. Perhaps the time we were talking about a uh, metaphor earlier and more screenshots up. eons ago the gods were mm. gifted with both eternal life it's pretty and interesting the of good and evil in those days they were known as Nahobino however the creator ordered the forfeiture of Nahobino's knowledge thenceforth they regressed into demons Demons Lamu is one such demon, 
It is likely he intended to reclaim his knowledge and assert power as a Nahobino once more. But what does any of that have to do with Itsukishima? Well, you see... Well, you see, the Creator sealed the demon's knowledge within the Garden of Paradise, inside a forbidden tree. But then came a serpent. Oh, yep, the yep. always a serpent. The tree's fruit and thus consume. Gotta watch out for them nope ropes. From then on, that knowledge was bound to the human soul and is still passed down throughout the generations. Or so the tale is told. Mm. Thus, we can conclude Itsukishima had inherited such knowledge. Does this mean that the knowledge of all those lost gods is flowing through us, too? Sure. Why not? It is very well possible. In any case, the demons of then and now yearn to reclaim what was lost, and so seek human souls. Yet the union of man and demon remains prohibited. Why is that? Because those who bear knowledge, namely a Nahobino, pose a threat to God's established order. Specifically, they have the potential to recreate the world. So, if I have this right, Lamu attempted to retake his knowledge in order to destroy the current system? That is correct. Then if that's true, wouldn't that mean his existence as an Ahobino is also a threat to God's order? to explore that matter further with you. Alas, the day has grown late. We'll save it for another time. For now, return to your quarters and get some well-earned rest. Understood. We'll do just that. Hey, uh, Atsuta? Uh, both of you. You guys down to meet me on the roof later? Uh, I mean, yeah, some some rest sounds sounds great, my guy. After a long day of negotiating and pillaging and killing, yeah. <sighs> Dude runs like such a dork. Oh, 
Oh, I remember you. Hmm. I should tell you. Oh, you don't have anything cool for me for, you know, saving everything? Now nah, she's dead. Womp womp. <laughs> Jeez. These uh these people are oddly calm for the whole uh, apocalypse thing happening. Eh, who am I to judge? Oh. Yeah, so I don't really get all that knowledge or recreating the world stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? All I care about is what we could have done different to save Itsukishima. You're the smart guy here. Oh, I'm what the smart guy now all of a sudden. Thanks. I mean, comparative. We might have been able to step in had we known about our situation earlier. Maybe been more involved. Ultimately, Lamu preyed on her fears and took advantage of her pain. At that point, she was too vulnerable to resist. <sighs> the whole reason I had the demon summoning program was to prevent something like this. Yet in the end, I was powerless. That's not true. You're That's amazing. not true! Oh, tough as nails, too. You and your sis. I'm sorry? But look, even I know how much work it takes to walk the right path. Not to mention strength. That's why I want to be strong, like you. And if I can fight on your level, no one else will have to suffer like this again. So let's move forward. That way our friends can rest a little easier, knowing they've been avenged. You're right, Dazai. And you know what? You might be stronger than you think. So, what do you make of their conversation? Well... Indeed. Yeah. But don't forget, you have the protofiend of Bethel at your disposal. I will support you at all costs. Regardless of what goals you may have, I will see to it that they are fulfilled. This I swear. Damn. Tonight's just been all plot city, huh? Good morning, everyone. We've just received word from Bethel's inner council. It falls to me to relay their message. Yeah? What is it? I bet it's nothing great. You did us a great service in destroying Lamu. However, our superiors are taking the demonic incursion very seriously. To leave such audacity unpunished would only invite further demonic offense. They aim to hit the forces of chaos with everything they have. All right. They want a full-on assault. That's what it sounds More like. Specifically, an attack driven by our finest agents from across Bethel's international reach. Hmm. Like Nicholas Cage. That said, as Bethel Japan, we are not assigned to this operation. What? Why not? Mm -hmm. This operation took quite a toll on our forces. Enough that we now have to rely on, no offense meant, amateurs and juveniles. To put it bluntly, HQ has judged our remaining strength and found us wanting. 
It's true that we aren't the most powerful. But we should be on the front lines in the fight against chaos. Tokyo is our city, and it's our duty to protect it. Hmm. Yeah, I... I think he's right. Frankly, so do I. Which is why our current plan is to join the operation, despite our orders, or lack thereof. <laughs> Sounds kind of risky, awesome. my guy. You and Dazai, your assignment is to cover the Tokyo Diet Building in the Netherworld. There's an underground passage nearby, connected to Chuo City. You will infiltrate by way of that passage and defeat the Demon King. Yes, sir. Yuzuru Atsuta, I have something a little different in mind for you. Stay after the meeting and I'll explain. Of, of course, sir. Yes, we're splitting up for this one. But let's give it all we've got. As of now, consider yourself deployed. Head to your mission. All right. Let's pop a save and uh, we'll call it a night here. Actually, let's pop out and see where we're supposed to head. I'm surprised you had nothing to say when we received... I see. When one's personal will and their organization... Just know there's no need for you to ever hold... With that said, let up... Hey, oh, we got some new shit? Well... Just, just spirit drain, Jim. <laughs> Say thanks. What the Maganangal? Need anything? Yeah, dude. What a what a cool design. Like legitimately. Yeah, I know. Listen, I'm not, I'm not Filipino, which means I don't have to apologize. Ah. I mean, they've this this entry. They added a whole bunch of stuff from a whole bunch of different cultures. Be careful. Mananangal. Where's my where's my jolly bee and spaghetti with ketchup, damn it.
Can you not? Cat eating my damn sweater. Master Abdiel forbade you all from joining this operation. Yeah, well, it looks like you need my help. If you truly wish to reach the castle, you can enter from a place called Tokyo Station. Oh, I know where that is. If you value your lives, you should turn back. The demons of this land are too great a threat. Yuriko, nobody asks for your sass. You're just jealous. spot Boom big ups No one over there too Fucking Ginza Ginza is so goddamn expensive for no reason Uh-huh sure Did you know that all of my sweaters are super fucking soft because they're made of husband material? That's why I'm a husband. Intense, isn't it? Hmm. 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 That miss hurts. Okay, so not that. Weeks of ice, got it. No, I'm not. One of these is gonna crit. Fifteen thousand no. Maka. Okay then. Ooh, 
back to be a nuisance, Luna. fought these before. Oh, well, dude on the right. Well, maybe. Pretty sure Narcissus is weak to fire. We'll see how this plays out. Oh, confusion. Love it. But it's good to see you, Spray Tag. Hopefully you're having a tremendous day. Nice crit. Now I'm mad. Hmm. Okay. Figured Valkyrie would block. <coughs> I am not level 40, so can't get that one. God, these level spreads are weird. Yeah, that's something that just happened earlier. I thought it was really neat. Damn, just enough. Hey, there's 39. Yeah, I want none of that. Thank you. There we go. That's fine. What? Beautiful. Oh, eat my ass. Oh no. 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 Fuck. There you go, there's my boy. Hanako-san the Toilet Demon? Beautiful. 
Okay. Okay. Beautiful. It oh, that was great. super inexpensive. Nice. At least we got something to work with. Cool. Make some stuff work here. Oh. the old loop-de-loop -loop and pull. Uh, uh, you're not that lost. I sure am, though. Weak to Dan. Alright, we'll wrap this fight up and I think we'll call it tonight. Besides, I got speed runs again tomorrow. Oh, you've got to be fucking farting up my ass. That went very poorly. Taking zero risks. Well, that's certainly rough. Hmm. 
means I'm going to have to swap around here a little bit. Hmm. Okay. It's not terrible. How is this? Yeah, let's swap over to that. Maybe? Let's go with that. How is this? Works for me. Oh, learned a new one. Are you ready? Let's grab this up here. Yep, we've parked ourselves into another Hello? difficulty curve. I uh, love to see them. Yes, kid. Look into Bob. <laughs> say, look into Bob. <laughs> say, that. look into Bob. <laughs> say, look into <laughs> say, look into. <laughs> Thanks. Need anything else? No, I think I'm good, Gustav. 
tanks. Alright. All healed up. Looks good. But yeah, we'll call it here. Uh, super thanks for hanging tonight. The resubs, the raids, the donos, the bitaroos. Y'all are absolutely wonderful. We'll be back tomorrow with more 15 and uh, some Sea of Stars. And who knows, maybe we'll throw something in between. Um, but yeah, I super appreciate it. We'll give you all the usual rundown. If you haven't joined us in the Discord, it is one of the best places to keep up with the stream and the community and you know, be active in what goes on. Uh, if you haven't subbed to the YouTube, best way to catch up on stream, to be honest, without having to dig through VODs and like scroll through hours of resets. Um, but yeah, slap a subscription on that bad boy and enjoy. If you're a tea drinker like me, check out the blends we put together with our friends over at Adagio Proceeds, benefiting the Trevor Project. It is just wonderful tea and great cause. If you're into really cool, custom, like one-of-a-kind custom jewelry, check out my wife's Etsy. It's got all sorts of cool bone and lace things, uh, as well as some cool 3D printed stuff. And if you want to support the stream that little bit extra, feel free to check out Throne Wishlist. A tremendous, tremendous way to support the stream. But uh, yeah, we're going to call it here. And we... We'll be back tomorrow, but super, super thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it, and we'll check y'all tomorrow. Let's go raid Beru. She's a sweet bean. She's done a lot of art for the channel. Um, she's working on just... She's working on her manga. But definitely go check her out. She is a heckin' sweetheart. Um, yeah, I didn't have the Elgato audio here. But either way, y'all are tremendous, and we'll check you tomorrow. Be well.